Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. That's nothing. This time, the pyramid! <laughs> we look so well rehearsed. Great trick in a treat. Easy. They remember everything. But you should see Washington do this. He's by far the best of the four of them. Hey, what about me? Say, where is Washington? <sighs> oh. Answer number three, a cup of hot chocolate. Ah, oh, my little wash. Uh, Time for the quick fire question round. What insect produces honey? One, flies, two, bees, three, ants. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy this show's still going. That presenter must be 150 years old by now, at least. Look at Washington. He's answering the questions. Look at his tail. Who invented the famous formula E equals MC squared? One, Einstein. Two, Heidi. Three, Eisenhower. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Our dog is a genius! I found my special edition of the best Quizmaster questions ever. So, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? One, 50 meters. Two, 164 feet. Three, 5,000 centimeters. What are they doing to me? Don't worry, same game, different day. Do what they want and the kibble is yours. <laughs> Oh, huh? no. For a moment, he was amazing. Now he's getting the answers all wrong. Not at all, honey. He sidestepped their trap. All three answers were correct. Well done, Washington. Incredible. Ah. Oh. What a clever boy you are, Wash. How come you know all that? TV. He loves the documentary and education channel. This is not looking good. Aren't you the one who always says you've got to keep your heads down, not draw attention to the animal inside? Of course not. It's just a harmless little game. How's it going to draw attention to us? That's mm -hmm. right. I want to sign my dog up for the Quizmaster Challenge. His name's Washington. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. <laughs> gonna be full of himself. And today's show, we have a very special contestant, Washington the dog. Let me remind everybody of today's special rules adapted for our new furry competitor. Washington will answer questions by wagging his tail one, two, or three times. And we're off. Washington, who is Sherlock Holmes' companion? One, Dr. Radcliffe. Two, Dr. Watson. Three, Dr. Gru. Next question, which pyramid is the biggest? One, the Pyramid of Medum. Two, the Pyramid of Calf. Three, the Pyramid of Chaos. Come on, come on, come on! The score is going through the roof! We have a winner! <laughs> this is incredible! Meet Washington the Wonder Dog with a wonder brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this dog has just broken the show's record! <laughs> wow! I have to admit, we did good. The next stage will be the grand finale against the Grand Quiz Master Champion of all time! Mr. Pullface, who will be the winner? Come what may, it promises to be a phenomenal battle. That's right. The grand finale is tomorrow morning. We're very confident, aren't we, Wash? Well done, Wash. I've always said that dog is as cunning as a fox. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> You can say that again. And he's getting all that kibble and not sharing a single one. So, Vic, going to congratulate me? I had it all under control and incognito. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, Washington's rival in the final, Mr. Pofe says the show's been rigged. What do you have to say to his accusations? What? Take a look for yourself. The whole thing's a masquerade, and I'm going to prove it. In the freak event that silly hound does beat, I have the organizer's permission to get its so-called intelligence tested live and direct by the renowned vet, Vladimir Vedovic. Wash would be delighted to cooperate. 
Tests, after all, are his specialty. Personally, I can't wait to find out Wash's IQ. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Now this is getting interesting. What does he mean, silly hound? Me and my so-called intelligence are deeply hurt. If I understand correctly, if you do win this final wash, you're gonna be probed and examined from every angle. And us wild guys, we're not so fond of that idea. Good heavens! This here is no wonder dog, it is a fox! Oh, no! You gotta stop being so intelligent, Wash! Huh? Great idea! Listen, Wash, it's simple. You have to lose. Yes, or else it's straight back to the forest for us all. Farewell, glory. Farewell, intelligence. The world will have to be deprived of my prodigious talent. So tell me. What do I have to do to be dumb? Hmm? Sam, Eugenie, Susie, Vic, any idea? Count me out. Mm -hmm. Is it that hard to try to get the answers wrong deliberately? Right, I'll try a different question. This time it's really easy. Remember, Wash, you have to get it wrong, okay? Wash, how many dwarves lit with Snow White? Seven. <laughs> no, I just can't help it. Wash, you're too intelligent for your own good. We don't have a choice. It's time to become genuinely stupid. Hmm, that's given me a brilliant idea. What we could do... Stop with your brilliant ideas. Why don't you think like me? It's really easy. All I do is don't think. I never thought I'd say this, but Wash's intelligence is going to be our downfall. Super sour candy stings my tongue so much my brain shuts down. So Wash, has it worked? No, it just stings like uh, crazy. <laughs> How they do it? Oh, yeah, uh, yes I do. It's the tartaric acid they use, isn't it? Tartamic what? Uh... <laughs> now we're gonna brainwash you and replace your knowledge with completely useless information. <laughs> Uh, what do you see here? Uh, uh, yeah, a car? No, it's a flower! A flower that looks like a car? Let's start all over again. <laughs> How about this? A postage stamp. Good day to you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this historic program, Washington versus Mr. Poveys. I'm scared. Don't worry, it'll all go super well. Go on, Washington, give it your best shot. Uh, I mean, your worst shot. <laughs> Washington will get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Who painted the Mona Lisa? One, Leonardo da Vinci. Two, Leonardo DiCaprio. Three, Leonard the Lion. Uh, mm -hmm. Wow, Leonardo da Vinci. He totally got that wrong. Uh, not that wrong, in fact. It's pretty right. Three, the Mississippi. Zero. Zero errors. Your opponent has his work cut out for him. And here he is. It's time for Mr. Poface. Wasn't the plan to get the answers wrong? The device scans animals and searches their brain, seeking out every scrap of information inside. Nothing escapes detection. Well done, Mr. Poface. Another flawless round. You might not have been as quick fire as your opponent, but only the score counts. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I don't know what's going on. I can see the wrong answer, but my tail won't respond. It's like it has an intelligence of its own. Time for the big decider. Get ready, competitors. Here we go. Can you tell me the exact number of teeth to be found in the mouth of the Volupus Volupus, a.k.a. the Red Fox? <laughs> 29, 30, 31... Uh, uh, 34! <laughs> 42! Washington, that is incredible! <laughs> Time to drop the act. Stop this masquerade. I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this, I don't want to see Now, this. just how does this work? Oh, well, I guess it's plugged in. Should we be worried that they're not his real ears? 
This animal is absolutely not gifted in any way. I regret to tell you that there is absolutely zero brain activity zero. present. Huh? It is a mystery how he manages to put one leg in front of the other. As a result, I invalidate the result of this competition. What a phenomenal turnaround! I hereby crown Mr. Poolface as our new champion! <laughs> really? Washington isn't gifted after all? You know, we are dealing with statistics. Global warming, in my opinion. Its casualties are simply a coda appendage reflex mm -hmm. reaction. The information transmitted by Washington's eyes, ears, or nose bypasses the brain, and so its flow continues uninterrupted directly to the tail in the form of a jolt of nervous energy, giving rise to erratic movements, which in certain contexts and scenarios may seem to have significance. In a word, his tail probably just wags on its own, and there's nothing he can do about it. For once, the guy is actually right! <laughs> You know, Wash, it doesn't matter if you're intelligent or not. We still love you very much. Yeah, we love you very much, too, even if you are lame. Hmm. Our question of the day, what is the square root of nine? Tweet, tweet, tweet! The right answer is three. <gasps> hey, did you hear that? <laughs> Susie chirped three times. <laughs> Quick, where's my telephone? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey, what a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it. You're practicing with your ball for the tournament! <laughs> no way! Never! Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost. Lost? <laughs> and that! That's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Kitty, can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! Four, five, six, and bingo! <laughs> I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? <laughs> you can look at it, but pause off. I promise. <laughs> oh. A table <gasps> what? <laughs> We didn't do anything, Vic. We're talking about it. <laughs> you should have seen the expression on your faces. Whoa, sis. What a great imitation. Whoa. It's like so pretty. Oh, there you are. <laughs> 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 Finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the Living Stones that we're wild animals for sure. Ah! <laughs> Meow. Louder. Meow. Uh, 
Are you feeling okay there, Nugget? Uh, no time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for Cat versus Cat. Oh, right. The tournament. Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? Say there, Fluffy. You know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In no? that nearby alley. Hey, that's enough. Back to rehearsing, Nugget. <laughs> I know exactly how we're gonna get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. What? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how to fight. It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. Look at you! You look super impressive! Okay, let's test you out! Awesome! Didn't feel a thing! <laughs> What's all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? A pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline! <laughs> Wanna play? I don't think so. <laughs> Losers. Phew! All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament! I say, who's the strongest? The awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Yes, 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 yes. Who is going to turn his opponents into mushy cat food? No one even dares step into the ring. You're the winner! <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, okay? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. <laughs> Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right, then. Like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh, no! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life. And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 Uh-oh! Looks like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis! Maddox! And the winner of the first round by default is Sam! Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all on! Yeah! That was only the first round! Besides, we were lucky! Sam cannot meow! Yeah! Oh no! Sam doesn't stand a chance! Try and do like me. Meow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. No, <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. <laughs> Now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Whoa! If only Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course! Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. I'm ready. <laughs> With a meow like that, we're gonna win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? Sorry, were you trying?
trying to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow, paw on chest, okay? Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> Team that I coached with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go! Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever! The huh? for the last round of Cat versus Cat, or the last step into the rain. We're gonna win for sure! <laughs> Everything's going to go great. There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam. And Sam opens the battle. Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to start, is that it? So that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? Time out! Time out! Seconds timeout. We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't me out. What are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us. Where's my golden bow? Hey, Victoria, can't you see that we're in the middle of the final that I'm about to win? <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! <laughs> big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! That was one close call, guys. <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. My boss is coming to dinner, and I want to see no one in the living room. Come on. Hut, hut. Everybody out. Boy, how annoying. Just when we were about to find out the identity of the guy behind the horse mask. And there's nothing to do outside. Inside is so much better. Say, life in the forest must have been a nightmare without TV. That's not true. We never got bored in the forest. We played tons of games. Yeah. How about we play Guess the Smelt? This game is far too easy for a fox. I'm gonna obliterate you. <laughs> a cinch! Gotcha, Sam! Well, you were saying, Washington? No! I wasn't ready. Let's start over. Yeah, too right. And anyway, he keeps walking off. Whoa! 
Watch out for the road! <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez? Is that you? Alvy! Mmm, it's soft, kind of sticky. This nose has got to belong to... Victoria! Maybe we should play something else. Why? What's the problem? Let's just say, Space and you don't seem to go together. Let's just say you're hopeless. If that's the way it is, I quit playing. I'm going inside. So there. And besides, I want to find out who this horse guy is. Mm -hmm. The house is the other way! Mm -hmm. Isn't that incredible? That dog crossed the whole country to get back home to its owners. Like everyone knows, the dog's sense of direction is second to none. Isn't that right, Washington? <laughs> a dog could never replace my GPS. Don't listen, boy. Your instincts will always be technology, hands down. <laughs> With my navigation assistant, I simply enter a destination and zip. I'm guided straight there. No ifs, no buts. I'd be very surprised a dog can do the same. Unless Washington is an expert in map reading. <laughs> My dog is a million times better than your dumb GPS. Oh, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes dogs are better, but sometimes nothing beats a GPS. I say get them both and you'll be happy. <laughs> Lunch will have a race. Washington against your GPS. That way we'll find out. <laughs> no brainer. I'm counting on you, big fella. Whoa! <laughs> At least there's someone here who recognizes my talents. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You have absolutely zero sense of direction. And if the boss wins, Mr. Livingstone is going to be very, very disappointed. And then he'll start wondering if his dog is really a dog after all. <clears throat> Maybe I overestimated my abilities. If you'll excuse me, I'd rather not watch this. Farewell, friends. Deep down, I loved you dearly. Enjoy your trip back to the forest. What am I going to do? Because of me, we all have to go back and live in the woods. We must find some way to win this race. Unless that GPS breaks down, I have no chance. Gotta confess, I am hopeless. <gasps> of course, that's it. We have to sabotage the GPS. Great idea, Wash. But that isn't enough. What about you? How are you going to find your way home? Oh, I know. Sam and I will lay a kibble trail back to the house. All Wash has to do is follow the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> what a klutz. Never leave a window open. Uh, what are you doing? I saw that on TV. Slip your paw through the car window and the door will spring open. <laughs> Say, <laughs> what does a GPS look like? Hello. What is your destination, please? Well done, Susie. Go on, sabotage it. Uh, okay. How? Just look for a cable and pull on it. Have you done it? Have you sabotaged the PVS? You mean the GPS? That's what I said. Not yet. Right now, all we've done is get Susie tangled up in the glove box. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800, eight, in 800 yards, turn wow. left. Wow, well done, Susie. With you pulling the strings, there's absolutely no way the boss will find his way back. <laughs> From the top of this hill, it takes exactly the same amount of time to get home by foot as it does by car. <laughs> My GPS knows all the shortcuts. It's not too late to give up before I humiliate you. Give up? Never. Very well. Count to, uh, let's say 1,000, then take off your blindfolds. May the best man win. One, uh, two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven 999, 1,000. Take it away, my beauty. Send us right back to where we came from. In 800 yards, turn left. So, where's the house? Well done, Washington. I knew I could count on your instincts.
table soon. Mm. Yeah, I got a little hungry along the way. Oh, no! Sam, what are we going to do? Without kibble, Wash will never find his way home. Why did you have to guzzle back the kibble? You already have a lot of food stashed in your costume. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Sam. Your costume is always crammed with food. Let me see. <laughs> I can't wait to see Livingstone's silly loser face. This is going to be fun. In 800 yards, turn left. Uh-huh, just what I thought. It's uh, not the way it looks. Perfect. Wash is sure to recognize his favorite dog candy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sam. I get an idea. The rappers. will prove once and for all that Wash is a real dog. Hmm? Uh-oh, there's something wrong. What? It's a wrapper from the dog candy. Sam! Yeah. Ah. That's strange. I've got this uncanny feeling of deja vu. In 800 yards, turn left. I'm sure I've already turned left here. In 800 yards, turn left. Oh, no, Wash, what have you done? We're right back where we started. Yeah? <laughs> so lost, are we? <laughs> I knew it. A dog could never beat my GPS. Got a technical hitch? I might be lost, but at least my dog knows how to turn right. You don't my understand what went wrong. Maybe GPS. a big greedy warthog passed by and ate our trail? <laughs> Okay, if we can't help Wash without being spotted, at least we can create a diversion. A diversion? I'll take care of that. It's the least I can do. Ah, a wild boar! What's got into you, Livingstone? In 800 yards, turn left. The boys got talent. But how do we get out of this mess? I have no idea, but I need you to guide me back to the house. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Gosh, it's about time. <laughs> what happened? Why are you all alone? <laughs> but, but it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Something's happened to my husband. <laughs> Here. Clear off, you beast! In 800 yards, to oh. left. Thank you again for a magnificent day. The pleasure was all ours. And thank you again, honey. You really saved us. It's Washington who saved you. Ouch. <laughs> Gotta say, there's no way your GPS could have saved us from a wild hog. Uh, I must confess, I am deeply indebted to that dog of yours. This is one TV binge we definitely deserved. I will admit that just for once, you came through okay. If Susie hadn't taken control of the GPS, and if Sam hadn't ripped off his costume, I'd have been a goner. Sam, mm -hmm. where are Sam and Susie? Yeah. Yeah, guys, where are you? Okay, I think it's dinner time. <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. We're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Is that? 
that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey there, furballs. Meet Brigitte, your new companion. You must be very nice to her, understand? <sighs> I'm counting on each of you, all right? Honey, don't you think you're going a bit overboard? I'd like to remind you that this is my boss's pet, Sal. It's not my fault he asked me to look after her during the ham and bacon fair. Hello, my name is Brigitte. Victoria. Ooh, I just love your style. Me too. I just love my style. <laughs> I also love your sense of humor. Hey there, I'm what? I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you. You are as pretty as a garbage truck. Huh? Say what? Ignore him, Brigitte. He's the most boorish cat I've ever met. Come on, I'll show you around the house. It's no palace, but it's comfy. Oh, by the way, just call me Vic. That's what my friends call me. Well, what? Did I say something wrong? Sam, a garbage truck is not a compliment. If you want her to like you, make her laugh. Girls love that. Really? Cool. Bunny humor is my strong point. <sighs> Thanks, Wash. And this is the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, huh? I don't think we have the same sense of humor. Are you okay, Brigitte? Yeah. Uh, let's go. What a dork. Sam, I told you to make her laugh, not to ridicule her. Well, what? When we see that joke on TV, everybody laughs. Mm -hmm. But not to impress a girl. Try offering her flowers. In Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro is always giving flowers to Veronica. <laughs> Because you think you know better than Dr. Alessandro? Veronica, I love you. Dr. Alessandro, I am not Veronica. I'm Angelica. <laughs> Here, Brigitte, this is for you. A present. Thank you, Sam, but a... <laughs> that too. Will you just get lost along with your flowers? Can't you see they make her sick? Go away, Sam. Why does it work with Dr. Alessandro and not with me? Yum, they're so delicious. <sighs> Boy, can he ever be a clumsy oaf. Yo, stop it, you're too hard on him. There's no way he could know I was allergic to flowers. <laughs> <laughs> it was really super sweet of him. I mean, how cute was that? Yeah. What? You don't mean you like him. Well, it is the first time a cat has ever offered me flowers. Don't tell me you'd go out with him. Mm -hmm. No way, are you crazy? We're from two totally huh? different worlds. You don't mix cats and pigs. On the other hand, if he were a pig or a wild boar, who knows? Mm -hmm. She likes me, she likes me. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Can't you see? I'm taking off my costume so that Bridget will know that I'm a wild boar. What? Are you crazy? Do you want the living stones to send us back to the forest? I remind you that we left the forest because we couldn't take any more of it. And that's also why we wear costumes! In the forest, you can say farewell to Kibble, the sofa, and the TV. Maybe we could take the TV with us. And you could always watch your films on the Livingstones tablet, no? Listen up, Sam. Here's what I suggest. I take the Livingstones out for a walk, during which time you take off your costume and tell her everything. But be careful. Not outside, huh? In the house. That way, we forget about the forest, you stay here, and everybody's happy. Okay, can we do that? Wash, you're the best! Okay, they're gone! Go! Why are you doing this? It's not Christmas. No, but it is super romantic. You just wait and see. Brigitte's gonna love it. Brigitte, you gotta come. Sam has a surprise for you. Ha ha, a 
another one of his great unfunny jokes, I bet. Forget it, Brigitte. Yo, why should I? Coming, Eugenie! If you get a bucket full of tomato sauce on the snout, whatever you do, don't come complaining to me. Ta-da! It's me, Sam! Uh -huh. 100% wild boar, 99% pure pork. Sam, is that you? It really is you! Mm -hmm. Gonna pull it out from under me, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. 21 peace dots in half an hour wash? This is kind of worrisome. Mm -hmm. uh, my boss. Hello, sir. So, how's the ham and bacon fair going? What? N -n 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 now? Uh, yes, I'm with her. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. You wish to speak with her? <laughs> uh, but, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, say hi to Daddy, Brigitte. Oink, oink. Yeah. Uh, what? Horse? No, she's doing perfectly well. Uh, I'm going into a tunnel. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you anymore. He's arriving at our house in three minutes. Quick, we've got to go home. <laughs> Hurry up, whoa, Wash. Whoa. Angelica, I will love you for the rest of my life, and even after. Oh, Dr. Alessandro! Ta-da! A wild boar! Go on, beat it! Scram, you wild beast, you! Get your paws off Brigitte! Brigitte! Come back here! No, my boss! We stole for time! Brigitte will come home. She's a show pig after all. Ah, <laughs> sir, what a pleasure to see you. In fact, Brigitte was just... Uh, taking a bath. In fact, I'm going to go back right now. We wanted her to be perfectly clean for you. Speed it up now. I'm in a hurry, Livingstone. Everything went well? <laughs> of course. Oh, I've never shown you my stamp collection, have I, boss? Just wait and see. It's quite unique. We've got to get stamped. We're certainly not going to live here. Well, why not? Don't be scared. Having lived here myself, I can assure you that if you're extremely careful, the forest can be very charming. So this is your pretty little love nest? Well, in the forest, nests are usually for birds. We... I want to go home. Otherwise, I'm going to scream. Go home? But we can't. I don't even have my costume. Ah! Sam, Brigitte, great idea screaming. It would have taken us hours to find you otherwise. Here, isn't this what you are looking yeah. for? Yeah, thank you, Eugenie. Can we go home now? You betcha. And the sooner the better, because I Thing. Can I have a word with you, Sam? Mm -hmm. Ah, sweetheart's little secrets. Okay, so listen, you and me, it's not going to work. So I suggest we take a break. A long break. Uh, in fact, a very, very, very long break. <laughs> awesome! I didn't dare ask you myself. Eh? Oh, what a nice little bath, huh, Brigitte? Let's scrub behind the ears. <laughs> there! Voila! I've been waiting for five hours now. That's enough. I want to see my Brigitte. It would be so much easier if we used the front door. Why do we absolutely have to go through the bathroom? Because I have to walk. I can't possibly show myself to my owner if I'm covered in mud, you bunch of wild woods. I want to see my Brigitte! 
where is she? Livingstone, for a minute there, I thought you were hiding something from me. Oh, sir, that's not my style at all. Good riddance. I thought you two were friends. Not really. I always had problems with the animals she hung out with. <clears throat> you gonna be okay, Sam? You don't miss her too much? Miss who? <laughs> Good old Sam. A wild boar dressed up as a cat with the memory of a goldfish. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ta-da! Fresh clean outfits coming up! <laughs> got it, got it, got it! Breathe in deeply and listen to your inner voice. My inner voice. Ah, hey! Oops, missed it. Sorry, Victoria. Spring kibble scent. I <laughs> say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life. Oh, yeah. So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? Our little sweeties are! Our little keys! Oh, hey! What's going on? Oh! Poor little guy! He looks abandoned! Aww. Did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. <laughs> we found him on the street, abandoned. Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little kid. <laughs> We're going to get you a bowl of kibble. A huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo. Let me show you around your new home. <sighs> And there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? No, seriously, I mean it! Check out his fangs! <laughs> well, you're right, Clash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec. This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. They are my friends. My house. 
house. And it's gonna stay that way. Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog pound service. Bye-bye, kid. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. <laughs> Why well, said that there was only room for one dog in the house? That's oh. why you wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No! I, I mean, yes! I, I can explain everything! You say you're sorry right now! Promise you'll never ever do that again, or else! Hmm. Sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cool! So we can all play together again! Yippee! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy. <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Hmm, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! Hey! I don't believe it! Wash! What's all this noise? You again, Wash? Oh, poor Poppy. Come here. You won't get me this time, you little squirt. What's going on now, Wash? Huh? And you're proud of that? You bad dog, you're punished. You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home. <sighs> oh, the poor guy, all by himself. Yeah, and it's thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah, but... Let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit. And you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something. Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually we are. But I can be ferocious, too. After all, I'm a wild boar. <laughs> A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak! You... you're not a real cat? <laughs> no, I'm a wild beast! And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild too! <laughs> Which means if you don't obey me, I can blow your cover? <laughs> That's even better! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Who does this miniature flea bag think he is? Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here! Right now! <gasps> Uh-oh, he threw you out too? No, he didn't, Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? And uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I 
got a plan. Listen up. That is so cool. Ah. You here? How dare you come back into my house? Girls, it's time to reveal little Poppy's real face. If the Living Stones saw this wild-looking creature... They'd chase it out of the house immediately! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Now we'll see who the wild beast is! <laughs> Surprise me. I promise, next time, we'll listen to your inner voice. <sighs> it's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough! Huh? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Want to play with the flying disc? Fresh air would do you a world of good. You've been sitting in front of the TV for hours. And lush? Yeah. Aw, oh, Sam, I knew I could count on you, dude. Can you move over a little? You're blocking the screen. Huh? <laughs> I bet there's a way I can play with the flying disc by myself. You just have to be sly. Like a fox, in fact. I can't play by myself, can I? Come on, guys! Sports are essential for your health! A dog's need for exercise varies from one race to another. For example, certain hunting dogs are true sprinters, just like foxes. Because, of course, these two animals are members of the same family, the canine family. Although our domestic dogs... No Did you hear that? Wild, I'm a cousin to dogs! That explains why I need to go outside and run all the time! In fact, our family is quite athletic. Speaking of outside, how about going there right now? I still haven't completed my 14-hour sleep cycle. Hmm? <laughs> okay, I get it. If that's the way it is, I'm going outside to play by myself. <gasps> Good idea! We can watch TV and pee! <laughs> <laughs> you guys deserve each other, the bunch of you. I'm beginning to think that my dog cousins are the only ones who truly understand me. Excellent! Go on outside and play with your cousin! All right then, fine! I am going outside to play with my cousin! I know. Watch out, man. Who's he going to play with? His cousin. Hmm. 
Mm. Hey! Mm. Hi there, Alvarez. How you doing? It's been such a long time since we've seen each other. You're sure looking good today. Are you making fun of me? Not in the least. I just wanted to spend some time with you because I just realized that we've got loads of things in common. Right, cousin? We may be cousins, but my tongue doesn't hang out like yours. Hey, uh, how about we play a game of flying disc together? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I've had more than my share of exercise this morning. Oh, I see. A little later, maybe? But anyway, is there anything you need? You know, you can ask you for anything you like. Anything? I can ask you for anything? <laughs> Between dogs and fox... Uh, uh, I mean, dog and dog, you know. Like, do a cartwheel? Yeah, cartwheel. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. Anything else? And what about a worm? <laughs> I hop on your tail. Okay, Wash, you and I are going to spend a little time together. Wash? Yoo-hoo! Where are you? In fact, we want to play with the flying disc with you after all! So, after this, cousin, how about we play that game of flying disc? Shush! Massage is about relaxation. Ah, okay, sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. I'm often told that I talk too much. That's something I don't actually notice, you know, given that I never stop talking. <laughs> Wash is giving Alvarez a massage. He calls him cousin. He looks really happy just being with him. All this is because we didn't want to play with the flying desk. Why is Wash calling Alvarez cousin? I'd be extremely worried if I were you. Alvarez is a manipulator, and he's going to take advantage of Washington's generosity. This is going to go very wrong in the end. Ah, it's a catastrophe! Wash is abandoning us! <laughs> what do we do, Sam? What do we do? Uh, we ask Wash. He's the one who thinks of plans. Uh, no, uh, we change channels. No, we take a nap. You'll do everything you can to get Wash out of Alvarez's clutches. Yeah, that's it, exactly what I wanted to say. So now I'll leave you to it. Uh, I have several naps to catch up on. Yeah. Wash, there you are. Cousin Alvy needed to go indoors to cool off, so I suggested he come here to the house. Afterwards, we're gonna play with the flying disc, right, cuz? And so, you guys are all done with your TV marathon? Yeah, and we wanted to get you out of Alvarez's club. Uh, to get outside and play with the flying disc! Yuck! Don't tell me you actually eat this revolting discount kibble. Ugh. <laughs> Well, what? He's an aristocratic dog. He's used to luxury. <laughs> uh, too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Too soft. Too hard. Not bad. Uh, it's rather hot in here, isn't it? Could you give me some air? <laughs> Faster! Not so fast! You wash you! We need to talk! I haven't got time! Cousin Alvarez is waiting outside to play flying disc with me! You've got to get rid of him! He's just using you! No, he's not! Alvarez is really sweet! That's just because you don't know him very well! And anyway, he's my cousin. Family is special. But we're your family. Ta! You guys, you're my friends. But he's family. And he's always willing to play flying disc with me. <laughs> Wash, I haven't got all afternoon for this game. Aha! <laughs> Hmm. 
See, just like I told you, he's a magnificent flying disc player. He's hopeless. Even Sam plays better. Affirmative. <laughs> Whoosh! I'm coming, Alvy! <laughs> Looks like Alvarez has made a real lapdog out of you. Pooey, <sighs> you're just jealous. Yeah. <laughs> we just wanted you to realize that we're the ones who are your real friends. Alvarez is my cousin. I know I can trust him. And I'm going to prove that by telling him I'm actually a fox. Wait and see. He'll accept me for what I am. What do we do? Yeah. Okay. No TV. No naps. Give me a couple of seconds. I'm thinking. You stop Wash from revealing his secret to Alvarez. Exactly. I love it. Alvarez, uh, there's something I have to tell you. The truth is, I'm actually... Uh, Oh. Alvarez! Alvarez! What I was trying to tell you... Look! <laughs> we'll just see who has the last word on this! Wash? You okay, Wash? How about watching a movie? Yeah, why not? You guys were right about Alvarez. Oh, no! It's Alvarez! What am I gonna tell him? Hey, how about we hide? That way, if he doesn't find us, he'll just leave. Yeah! Wash is back to his old self! Good idea! Let's hurry! He's almost here! <laughs> Woohoo, Wash! Aha! Here you are, Alvarez! Great timing! I was waiting for you. He tricked us! Now he's going to tell Alvarez everything! Then we'll have to return to the forest again, to the cold and the rain! Goodbye, <laughs> TV! <laughs> so listen, I'm actually, uh... <laughs> well, what? This could be our last chance to listen to TV. It's true that dogs and foxes are very close species. One can see this in their similar physical traits. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Foxes have nothing to do with dogs. We are far, far more advanced than those inferior wild animals. What? What do you mean, inferior? A fox's vision and sense of smell is far more developed than that of a dog. Excuse me? Uh -huh. Zero hygiene, zero poise, zero class. Foxes are the very last species on the planet I deign to frequent. I'd rather befriend a pigeon. At least they know how to hold their heads up when they walk. What? So, what was it you wanted to tell me? What I wanted to say was, go fetch, doggy woggy! to play with the flying disc. Well, I could think of an activity that everyone here would like. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. 